Hello friends, how are you? Well, you saw the title of my video. Today we are going to discuss which one is better, like the massages at Chinatown or a physiotherapist. Well, first I'm gonna tell you that I tried both here at downtown Toronto. And I wanted to do this video because I have some co-workers at work that have never been to a physiotherapist or a massage therapy. And they ask me like, is it expensive or how is it? Because they tell me they only take pain meds and that doesn't help the problem. That only makes it worse because you are taking something to make your brain think it's better, but it's not. So first, so first let's discuss the massages at Chinatown. Uh, the pros is that they are half the price of a regular physiotherapist. For example, I went to one today for a full body massage. It was 45 minutes. It was more like an hour, but I paid 45 minutes. And it was $50, which is a very good price. And I have heard from people that have never been there. And I live relatively close because I'm in downtown so I went there it's like the second time I go and I went to this place and I recommend it a lot and how is it like you just arrived you don't need an appointment but if you could make an appointment it's better because you you're sure you're gonna be available to enter but if not you can just go that's a point a good point and they have a chart which I inserted here because I took a little picture and they have those services and you enter to a little room that it's like pretty cozy because that place it's all pink so it's cute and you leave your clothes in in a chair next to your like bed and they give you like the massage you need like full body or for example one time the first time I went there I got a little something in my in my knee because at work I like moved too fast and I felt like a crack but you kind of feel your pain you know if it's like really bad or it's just like something you do like when you are doing sports or something so that time I felt like okay it's not that bad because I know my limit of pain so I wanted to try that and I went there and I pay like a session of 30 minutes of reflexology and I like it a lot because it's not like a regular relaxing massage that one it's Chinese medicine and they have like different techniques <laughs> like I was kind of laughing inside because the woman that makes the massage is like I imagine myself as a toy the one that you like the one from the dogs that you push and the eyes go out <laughs> because she do the massage very strong but you go out from you go out from there and you feel like a new person because she really heals you if you have like something small like not from the tendons or anything like just inflammation and I'm not a doctor I'm a chef but I wanted to give you my opinion as a customer because for my first time here was like, okay, I know my experience in Mexico and a little bit of my experience in Mexico, I tried both again, like regular massages and physiotherapy. So I kind of know my limit of pain. So they give you the massage with oils and I like a lot that they also use hot water, like with towels, they put the towels over your body. So it's super relaxing and you go out as a whole new person and you're happy and you're relaxed <laughs> and it's cheap and they also accept medical insurance. I have never used it there but it's cheap so it's cool. And my other experience like with the physiotherapist here it was excellent so like spoiler alert it's not that one is better than the other. It's like I believe the two are 100% but for different things. So for the physiotherapist, uh, first I have a long lasting like pain in my back because when I was a teen I used to do gymnastics, Arabic dancing and weightlifting. So maybe it was a lot and also I was studying in the culinary school so I was standing and running over eight hours a day for like a whole week except weekends and one day I got hurt like very weird because I was just walking 
and I felt something in my back like a string breaking and it started to hurt a lot. I could barely walk but I was like tough and I went to my classes and everything but I couldn't do any any more of my sport classes, my gymnastics, anything because it was hurting so bad. So physiotherapies I have tried like three different types and the first one, I went to one that gave me some exercises with a ball, like a tennis ball. And it's like, everyone has a different method. And again, I'm not a doctor, just a customer who wants to give you their experience. So if you're afraid about the prices or the experience, I, I, I'm just sharing my experience. So they give you a ball and you do like massages with the ball and everything, but that didn't work for me. So next, I tried with electroshocks or something. It's like a little machine that gives you like ticks. And that one helped with the pain. But if I try to lift anything like heavy, not like heavy, heavy, like heavy regular adult, mm, like 10 pounds, it started to hurt again. So that was not working. Then I went to another one who gave me an injection in the back that was like super weird. I don't even remember what was in the injection. And the last, last one, the one that was the best, the only one that worked, was one that was giving massage therapy. And for my experience, that it's the best one. And that was like my experience in Mexico. So here, I went to one in downtown. And it's like double the price from Chinatown, but they are like professionals in physiotherapy. So for a long lasting uh, pain like that, you need a physiotherapist. So the experience is like you go there, you talk to them and they are pretty nice. They listen to you. Not like all the, not all doctors do that, but as I told you, I recommend that place. I leave the direction here and they, it's a guy, <laughs> the one that I saw. Uh, it, first, it's kind of weird because, like, you give your experience and everything and they write in the screen. So next, the massage, <laughs> they give you, like, different stretches and they, like, give you massage but in a specific muscles. So they are, like, crushing you like a Rubik's block or something. But for some people it's like weird because someone is like over them and like stretching them. But after the sessions you feel pretty, pretty good. It's like you feel like not exactly no pain, but you feel a lot better. And after that he gave me some exercises. He had a little gym. So you go there and he gives you several exercises. For me it was like six like six gym exercises, you lift some weights, you do some stretches. For example, I needed to touch my toes several times a day or stretch with some bands or... Also, he told me like my main problem was that at least this time my back was hurting because I didn't have like enough muscles in my back. I was doing like big muscles, but he told me to focus more on the back muscles, the little ones from the lower back. So it's nice that a professional tell you what is happening and how to fix it. So there's that. And then the main thing is that if you want to get better, you need to do that at home. Because I only had like one session every two weeks. So you need to do your exercises practically every day. And I needed around six sessions to feel perfectly okay, with no pain, no anything. So that's my experience around.